Welcome to the UCL clinical skills video on taking a venous blood gas using a direct stab technique. To begin the procedure, wash your hands, wear an apron and gloves. Introduce yourself to the patient, stating your full name and role. Ask the patient to confirm their name and date of birth and confirm if they have any allergies. Ensure that you check all of these details on the hospital name band. Seek permission to carry out the procedure from the patient, ensuring that you have fully explained the procedure and the reasons for doing it. Expose both arms and choose a suitable site to take blood from a vein. Reposition the patient whilst ensuring that the arm is fully supported and comfortable. At this stage, you may now wish to do an initial vein check by applying the tourniquet and assessing for veins. Please note that you will be spending time in several different hospitals throughout your training. Each hospital may have its own policy for taking a venous blood gas sample and some of the equipment may vary slightly. Clean a tray with an alcohol wipe, first on the inside, then on the outside. You will need gauze, a venous blood gas needle and syringe, a tourniquet, an alcohol wipe, and tape. In this video, we have used a tray with two chambers. We use one chamber for equipment out of the packet, and we will open equipment which is in its packaging, in this case, the VBG needle and syringe, and the gauze, into the other chamber. Keep the bung inside the packaging to keep it safe, as you will require it after collecting the blood sample. If you are next to the patient, carry on and perform the procedure. If not, remove your gloves and apron, wash your hands and reapply at the bedside. Apply the tourniquet 7 to 8 centimeters above the chosen site. The tourniquet should be tight enough to pinch the skin, but not so tight that it will cause pain. Palpate for a suitable vein if you have not done so already. Clean the skin with the alcohol wipe according to trust policy. Push the plunger of the venous blood gas syringe to expel any air. Always ensure the bevel of the needle is facing upwards. Hold the VBG syringe and needle securely with fingers below and thumb above. Insert at a 30 to 45 degree angle into the vein. Gently withdraw the plunger and obtain a minimum of 0.5 mils of blood. Any less than this and it may not be possible to process the sample. Release the tourniquet and place gauze over the puncture site. Apply pressure to the site. Using the tab, lift up the sheath to cover the needle. It will click into place. Remove the sheath and the needle from the underlying syringe. Dispose your sharp into the sharps bin. Expel any excess air from the syringe into a piece of gauze. Apply the bung to the syringe and roll gently within the fingers 
to reduce the risk of clotting. Apply an appropriate dressing to the site. Please ensure you document the procedure and venous blood gas results in the notes.